Hi everyone, it's Cindy. It is Friday, October 16th, and I'm back for a sit and stitch with me. I haven't done one in a while, and people tell me they really enjoy it. So today I'm going to be working on Waxing Moon Designs. This is called Turkey Trio. And I've stitched this one already, and I'm working on this one right now. The third one, I'm not a fan of, so I won't be doing that one. So I did that one, but I'm going to show you. I did the first one. And this is Bountiful. This is done on 32 count doubloon, and that's by Picture This Plus. I absolutely, I love this linen. I love it. But look how cute he is. I love the uh, full colors. Uh, just an easy stitch. Now, what I did on the border, I didn't put this um, this like triangle border. I just did a plain border uh, because of the way I want to finish it. I just don't. It wasn't to my my taste, so I just left it off and I just did a a, a plain double border, which I love. He's so cute. So the one I'm working on today is peaceful. So I started that and. I did the turkey part, so I'm going to be stitching uh, on this, and <laughs> that's kind of funny. Hold on. I had this. I was working on it, and I just kind of flopped it down. I hope everybody is uh, doing well out there. I cannot believe we are already halfway through October, uh, which is kind of crazy. Um, I don't know where the time is going. Uh, it's like it's in speed warp, but that's just me. The garden is still doing uh, really good. I had a bunch of sunflowers bloom, so I still have my sunflowers. I have tons of zinnias still. They're still going strong. I'll probably have them I'm thinking maybe another two to three weeks. I'm hoping longer, but listen, you don't know what the weather. Um, at night, sometimes it, it had a couple of nights it did get down into the 30s. I think tonight will be down into 30s. I think last night was. There's a couple of days I woke up and there was uh, frost on my window shields of the car. So I don't know. And then next week, like today it was 60, tomorrow it'll be 60, but then all next week it'll be back in the 70s, so, which is fine with me. <laughs> I don't like the winter at all, and I, I have been outside a lot, probably more than usual, because I know this weather isn't going to last forever and that we're heading into winter, which I don't like. So I'm trying to savor every nice, warm, beautiful, sunny day out there. Uh, out and about doing things. I've been stitching mostly on uh, smaller pieces. I haven't been working on a lot of my big pieces, but I did finish tulips and I finished that the other day. So I'll be excited to uh, show that on my next video. Uh, so that's done. So I was happy to get that off of my uh, rotation. I did start stitching back on my heartstring sampling piece so i've been working on that a little bit most but mostly small pieces uh the wedding gift that i made uh for my daughter for my uh, friend's daughter her wedding she got married last saturday i got to watch the wedding on a video which is kind of cool <laughs> i got to see the wedding even though the wedding was in new york and i'm here uh it was it was on video so that was kind of cool she did really like the uh, little ornament I made for her, so that made me happy. Um, listen, they appreciate homemade things. Um, my girlfriend does amazing crochet work. She She's super talented. Uh, so they do understand a homemade gift is, you know, a lot of time and effort goes into the homemade gift. Uh, so she liked that, but I've been working on smaller pieces. I do have... Uh, another finish, but I haven't fully finished 
anything yet and I really before I do my next regular video I want to have pieces uh, fully finished I just I haven't had the bug to fully finish and I need to have had to finish pieces uh, they do take time to finish when you uh, work on them but you have to be in the mood for it and I just haven't been in the mood even like I don't know, after 8 o'clock at night, I don't even want to stitch. Like, I come home, I do my four or five mile walk, do a couple things, and I just, I haven't even been in the mood to stitch at night, which is not like me, but I've been, I'd rather walk out. Like, I've been walking out to 8 or 9 o'clock at night, and it's dark by then, and I and then I walk in the dark. I, I just love where I am. It's super quiet. There's no one around but me. Um... So I do like that. So I, I'll get back into the swing. I know I call winter my, my, that's my cross stitch season because that's when I stitch the most and I work on most. I've been cleaning out things, um, cleaning out cross stitch supplies. I am going to post a D stash video next Friday uh, for cross stitch patterns. I have I've gotten rid of a lot, but I'm going to do a video on it. Um, I sold some on eBay, but I, eBay is so time consuming uploading the pictures and all that stuff. And I don't ask much for my patterns. I really don't. Um, actually, I just want to clear them out. I don't want to have all that I have. Um, I'm just been purging and getting rid of. I don't know why, but that's just me. I've been uh, focusing on <clears throat> streamlining a lot of things. So that's what I've been working on. So if you're interested in some cross stitch patterns at a really good price, uh, check back in next Friday. I did it once before a couple years ago, and it went really well, and Everything got shipped out right away. I I ship in bubble wrap mailers, so they're well protected. I make sure all of my stuff goes out. Like, I handle it with care. Like, I really I don't make that much money on it. Uh, but I'm going to be also doing 12 Days of Christmas YouTube videos, uh, the first 12 Days of Christmas. So look for that. I will be giving stuff away. Um, I think this year we could all use a little extra boost <laughs> the way things have been. We all need an extra boost. So I'm going to do that. Um, I think that'll be fun. I have a, a lot of good things in mind for that. So those are just things that go through my head and what I've been working and focusing on. Just streamlining things, cleaning out things. Um, and it's not that I even have a lot of stuff. I really don't. Um, but I just, I just want less of stuff. I, I don't know what it is. I think from moving three times last year, that really, it did me in. <laughs> I just don't want to um, have a lot of stuff anymore. So I'm going to uh, streamline my question. So am I stopping questions? Definitely not. Um. Am I ever going to stop buying patterns? No. But I'm going to be focused more on um, when I buy a pattern, I'm going to fully kit it with the threads and the fabric and just have it ready so that I could pull and stitch on something. Um, I'm not I'm not a person to have like a hundred whips and stuff like that. I'm, I have like three, <laughs> three whips and that's, that's like a lot for me. I don't know. Um, on the bigger pieces, it is good to break it up with other pieces where you would, you would get, I think you get bored or very monotonous. So I could understand why people do seven, eight, 10 pieces in a rotation. I just don't stitch as much as everybody. I do work full time and we've been super busy at work. I, and I love my job. I, do, I love what I do. I, I love who I work with. My boss is awesome. She's just, probably one of the best bosses I ever had. And when you have a good boss, it makes it so much easier. Um, 
to get along. I work. I'm a worker, so if you work, go in, do your stuff. Nobody bothers you. Life is good. <laughs> uh, we were out. We have um, in the front of our building, we have the box uh, plant holders on the building, and the summer flowers were kind of died out, the petunias and stuff like that, so... She's like, what should I buy? I'm like, go buy some pansies because pansies here where I live in the south, they last all, all winter into spring. Uh, so it's actually pansy season here. And when I got back from lunch, I had, because um, I'm a gardener, I have all my tools and stuff. So I had the hand, you know, the hand shovels and gloves and stuff. I'm like, okay, okay come on, let's do this. We, we got done in like 15 minutes. We really, we did it really quick, so. Uh, the garden, you know, it's always a good thing. So it, it looks pretty now. We got pansies at work too. I actually bought some for my house, and I'll be planting those in the planter out front tomorrow. I just didn't do it today. After work, I went. I had to go to Lowe's. I ran out of bird seed. Now I don't have pets, so the birds are my pets, and I I love my birds. I watch them all the time, so. The last couple of days I ran out of, um, I usually buy them uh, the sunflower seeds. I like feeding them that, and they seem to like that. So I went and I ran out. I haven't had them in a couple of days. They're probably wondering, like, what's going on? So I went, I bought the black oil sunflower seeds for the birds, and I bought a new bird feeder. I had two identical uh, bird feeders. And somebody stole one of my bird feeders. <laughs> so what I did is I replaced that and I, um, I'll include a picture of it at the end. It's really cool. It's a bigger one and it's, it's yellow and it's just different. And I actually put wild bird seed in there. So I have to see how it goes. We have a, there's a ton of deer around here. I was, we had a, a Zoom meeting today, you know, in work, and my manager was saying how when she was coming to work yesterday, a whole pack of deer were just blocking up the whole street. They are. They're, and I was telling them, they're, they're like dogs around here. And the other manager just started cracking up. He's like, say dog again. I guess I say it funny. I'm from New York. I mean, that's how I say dog. And I said, oh, the deer are like dogs around here. I'm like, they would never last in New York. Somebody would probably shoot them and eat them. I don't know. But the other day I went out and I had two huge bucks in my yard. I'm like, okay, guys, stay away from the garden. But they ate. The, I planted, you know, new sunflowers, and they, they ate the top off of my sunflower. I'm like, that's the only thing they ate. It's just amazing to me how they could smell what they could eat. I don't know. It's just amazing, but... They do run around here like, like, they're like dogs. They're not scared of people. And I'm like, they're too domesticated for me. I don't know. I never had to be around deer before, so it's all new to me. So anyway, in the backyard with the bird feeders, the deer will go back there. I don't know what they do. And they, they knock on the bird feeders and they eat, you know, they knock all the bird seed on the floor. So the new one is pretty tall, so I didn't fill that all the way. I filled it halfway. So we'll see tomorrow if it's all gone. If it's all gone, that means the deer are taking it too. And then, of course, I have squirrels, and, you know, he likes going. <laughs> I don't know how they climb the metal rod, but the, the squirrels are amazing. They're, they're smart animals. They're not stupid. You watch them. They'll hang upside down and swing on the thing, and <laughs> they're funny to watch. I usually just bang him like, hey, what are you doing? And he takes off, but super funny to watch them. I don't know. Listen, I don't mind feeding the deer and the squirrel too, but it is bird feed. And you know, some of the other animals are going to get some of the bird food. That's just how I look at it. And in the winter, I go through a lot of bird seed because a lot of birds know I have it. And I think the deer come and get it too. I don't know. It. It is what it is. I don't have pets, so like I said, I don't care. I go and I get my bird seed, and it's okay. It's all good. This is God's creatures. I feed them all. <laughs> it's kind of funny. 
so I was happy to get the uh, new the new bird feeder. I actually bought a metal small metal uh, flagpole holder for the garden because I have my um, I had my Snoopy flag for a while and I didn't I couldn't find one of the metal flag holders. So when I was in Lowe's, they had one and it came with a Christmas flag on it and I didn't really want to buy a Christmas flag one, but they didn't have any plain ones. And the the lady I was talking to said they're not getting any more in, so I'm like, oh, I'll just buy it. It says uh, Merry Christmas on the flag, so I could put it out at Christmas, but my Snoopy flag is in the garden and I'll definitely include a picture of that at the end too. I have some really beautiful, uh, beautiful pictures uh, to share at the end. I was walking the trail the other day and it was picturesque. I was uh, really the, like the only one on the trail. All the leaves are falling and it's covered in beautiful fall leaves. Beautiful color, it's really pretty, pretty picture. Uh, the cows were out, <laughs> so I got you know pictures of the cows and the sunflowers. Like I said, have been blooming and they have new blooms every day. It just amazes me. They're so pretty, and I think a part a part of why I hate winter is like at the end of fall, my garden's gone, and anybody who loves to garden like I do. I think you feel it, like your garden's gone and I don't know, it's like a piece of you is missing, I don't know. And you don't have a garden uh, through the winter, so it is a little, listen, I don't, I don't like the winter and um, I'm trying to come to terms with winter's coming again, try and embrace it, <laughs> embrace the cold. When I was younger, when I was a teenager, uh, me and my friend Gina, we used to go skiing. Not that I was a good skier. She was she was a pretty good skier. I, I can ski. <laughs> I'd fly down the hill. Sometimes I'd wipe out. There was one time I wiped out and I banged up my arm and I had driven there and it was a couple of hours from where we lived. I was driving home. My whole arm was like all black and blue and swollen and like <laughs> looked like I was in a fight. <laughs> Um, I would never go down the expert hills, the diamonds and stuff. Yeah, I'd kill myself doing that. And I, I honestly don't think I would. I don't know. I might get on skis if I was on the baby hill, like with the little kids. That would be me. I used to ski the easy hills. When my kids were growing up, I we took them for um, skiing lessons. They were great skiers. They were they were better than me. But I used to hang out with them on the kid slopes. <laughs> That's that's my speed. I go back and forth. <laughs> and don't you want to go on the diamonds? My ex-husband used to say, I'm like, heck no, you go have fun. I kill myself. I feel like I'd fly off the cliff. <laughs> We'd just never be seen again. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not a super talented skier. I can ski, but on the baby hills. I like the baby hills used to take me up on the lifts and stuff, and I'd be like, yeah, where's the green, the easy? And the black was diamond, that was hard. <laughs> I, knew just, I knew to stay away from the black sign, <laughs> which is kind of funny, but we had fun skiing. I mean, I have good memories of doing that. I don't know if I would do it now, though. Put myself in traction or something, wipe out, fall down, never get up again, <laughs> I don't know. I mean, as a kid, I used to get beat up on the skis from falling and stuff. When you hit an ice patch, wipe out. <laughs> anyway, stories of, I'm thinking about stories of when I went, used to go skiing. It's kind of funny. We had a good time, though. We, we used to go, I took my kids to um, Mount Killington in Vermont, Hunter Mountain, that's in uh, New York, Mount Snow. I mean, we took them to great places. I mean, beautiful, you know, be beautiful ski areas on the East Coast is where I was. I was in New York, uh, but Vermont has great, great skiing, beautiful areas. I never went out west skiing, you know, Colorado, things like that. I was on the East Coast, so 
there was no way I was traveling with three kids to Colorado to go skiing. I don't know how I, several years ago, I was working in New York. I took my kids to Maui by myself, Hawaii. I love, I love Maui. I've been there three times. It's definitely hands down still my favorite place that I've ever been to. I love it. So I decided, I don't know what I was thinking. When they were teenagers, I took, took all three of my kids to Maui by myself. And the flight alone is enough to drive you crazy. You have to do a layover in California, then it's a five hour flight and then the layovers and driving. And uh, But we had a great time on the vacation. And the kids were good, I mean, the kids were good, but I don't know, taking three teenagers to Maui. It's kind of, I look back now, I'm like, how do I do that stuff? I don't know how I did it. You just do it, I guess, I don't know. We had fun when we went to Maui. I took my kids on the helicopter ride and they showed us where they filmed Jurassic Park with all the waterfalls and stuff. It was beautiful. Um, the helicopter ride, it was fun. I took them swimming with the sea turtles. The fish and stuff in, in Hawaii, oh, the water, it's just beautiful. Give me one second. Yeah, the uh, water in, in Hawaii is absolutely amazing. So bluish green and clear and so many different pretty fish. It's absolutely amazing. I love that place. It's just so, so beautiful. Huh. So that was one of the times I went on the helicopter. I only went on a helicopter twice. And honestly, I would never really want to go back on another one. But there was one time, and this was a long time ago, probably it's over 20 years ago. I don't know how many years ago. When I was married, we um, went to Las Vegas. And in Las Vegas, you could take a helicopter to the Grand Canyon. And we took the helicopter to Grand Canyon. They land you in the canyon and they fed you dinner. It was, it was amazing. It was really pretty, but I'll tell you, the helicopters, you, you don't, I don't know, the way I felt is, you don't know if you're gonna make it back. <laughs> I mean, they're really that bumpy and I don't know. I mean, I, I love being in them, I love doing it, but I did it twice, I'm good. <laughs> I don't need to do it again. Uh, no, I don't mind flying. I used to fly in little Cessnas all the time from Long Island to New Jersey, like little 10-seater airplanes, and those, you feel a lot of turbulence and stuff in those, but the helicopters, I don't know, you feel a lot in a helicopter. So kudos to all those helicopter pilots and people who do that a lot. That's not something I would I would want to do on a regular basis for sure. I don't know how do I get talking about helicopters, but anyway, <laughs> uh, that's definitely one of my favorite places. So Maui, it's beautiful, absolutely beautiful. And who knows if I'll ever go back there everything going on I don't know <laughs> might not be able to go anywhere at some point but that's it the garden is doing good and I'm happy it's still here and still thriving I still have dozens upon dozens of zinnias the zinnias um they're probably four feet tall now they're really big they're so pretty they're beautiful uh, they make me smile and I'm still giving them away. Um, I gave a bunch. I still give a bunch to my neighbors all the time. So it's good. It's, they're pretty. And they still keep producing. So that's one thing. A flower you cut and it, and it gives more. That's just a very giving uh, flower. Like I said, the sunflowers are amazing. I'll, I'll definitely include pictures because... Um, I replanted autumn sunflowers and they, this one stem had like bursts of like eight to 10 
flowers on it. It was it's so pretty. It's still out there. It's starting to um like hang over a little bit. It's heavy. It's top heavy. I mean, it's it's really tall and you got all these flowers on it. Also, kind of amazing there. So that's that's what I've been up to. I I'm like, oh, let me go home. I put, you know, all the bird seed out and everything like that. I'm like, oh, let me sit down and do a video for a while. I will be stitching all tonight. I'll probably stitch a lot this weekend. I didn't even really stitch a lot last weekend, but I think I will this weekend. I, I'm going to try and finish, fully finish some pieces because I have some really pretty pieces I want to fully finish. I just haven't, it just hasn't been my focus lately. I don't know. I know everybody out there has really been stitching up a storm. <laughs> I don't know how they stitch so much, but listen, whatever makes you happy, do what makes you happy. You know, whatever makes you smile every day. Um, Before we know it, it'll be November, it'll be Thanksgiving. I just, I don't know where the time is going. It's it's a blur, people. <laughs> We're in speed warp. That's what I tell my sister. I'm like, were you in speed warp or something? I feel like I'm in the, the twilight zone. Every day I wake up, I'm like, is this the twilight zone? <laughs> it's kind of funny. I'm going to include uh, some very good picture shots at the end. And give me one second, I'm going to get something. Okay, so I have a pattern here, and this is Indigo Lane by Brenda Gervais. I'm going to be giving this away on this video. Uh, so if you do want it in the comments below, just write in Indigo Lane. This is a used pattern. Um, this was used by myself. I stitched this piece, and Jan Hicks stitched with this pattern, too. She has some writing on some of the pages, so I do want to let you know it's a used pattern. Uh, but Jan Hicks has a floss, too. She actually lived in Hawaii for a while, uh, so I'm definitely giving it away. I want to give it to another stitcher, and if you want that, like I said, just in the comments below, uh, just put Indigo Lane. I hope everybody has an awesome weekend this weekend. Do what makes you happy, stitch, and until we meet again, everyone, happy stitching. I'm going to put some great footage on here for you. Happy stitching!